So hips to heels, stretch your arms forward, take a deep inhale through your nose, and exhale, settle in. Bring your forehead to your mat or the backs of your hands. And just allow your breath to gently rotate your awareness inward. Every inhale, start to fill the body, expand and open. And every exhale, set down one thought at a time. Similar to unpacking your groceries, just allow one item to be set down to come back to later and begin to empty out this space and so that we can really arrive fully without distraction and be present in the here and the now in which we've chosen to be with body and be with breath on our mats. And through our practice, especially as we are at home in our own space, there are external noises and distractions that will naturally arise. That's part of life, that's part of the journey. But it's in full control for you to respond, react, or let those distractions be for the time. And that, my friends, is the power that we have not only here and now, but always off the mat and through our day. Never can we control those external circumstances, but always can we control our relationship with them. Take one more full inhale, allow the body to expand in this new empty vessel. And then as you exhale, settle it all in and fully arrive here and now. And start to walk the fingers farther. Forward, stretching through left and right side body. Inhale as if you had wings on your back. Spread them wide. And exhale, melt them all the way down to wrap yourself in. Crawl the hands over to the right side of the mat. And really stretch through that left arm. Take a full inhale, rotate left armpit open. And then exhale, wrap that left armpit down towards the floor. Rotate your head looking under your right arm. One more full inhale, fill that left lung. And then exhale, soften, let go. And inhale, come back to center. And then we'll rotate going all the way off to the left side now. Reach the right arm farther, farther as you can. And then take a big in breath, start to rotate the torso, opening into right armpit, lifting to the sky. And as you exhale, wrap the left arm, uh, right arm back down and take a look under your left arm. Inhale, bring the hands back to center. Full extension, child's pose now. Next, inhale brings us into tabletop. So stack your shoulders over your wrist, hips over knees, and we'll take a few cat cows here as you breathe in, lifting your heart forward. And as you breathe out, tucking and rounding the spine, Allow your breath to match your movement. Go at your flow, your pace. Maybe even keep your eyes closed here just to stay in that emptiness. 
And if you notice that maybe you missed a thought and that it arises as you move, maybe your grocery bag wasn't as empty as you thought it was, just simply grab hold, set it down, come back to your breath. Back to that empty grocery bag. Dive in and explore. One more round here. And then we'll find neutral spine. Let's tuck the toes, shift the weight forward, get a nice stretch into the wrist, and then press yourself up and back into downward facing dog. Take a few moments to pedal the feet. And again, still using that breath to guide yourself into any areas of the body that might be a little bit extra tense today. Or being that it's Monday, any extra areas of the body that might need a little bit of fire lit underneath. Fire up that drive. Get out of weekend mode. And then when you're ready, settle into a still down dog. Find the shape in which you can use the breath to expand the backs of the legs, the back of the shoulders. Really press into the floor with hands and feet. Take a full inhale. And then exhale, empty. Come up onto the toes, bend the knees, gaze forward. Take your right foot behind your right wrist, left foot behind the left wrist. Inhale, peel the chest forward. And exhale, ragdoll, karate chop inner elbows, tuck your chin, round your spine gently. And a soft, gentle breeze blowing you from side to side. Maybe even a gentle twist in the spine, just working into the side bodies. Give your head a nod or a shake, make sure there's no tension in the neck. A full inhale, hold the breath at the top. And as you exhale, slowly feel your body become heavier. They feel gravity take over. Release your hands, bend your knees, and start to press down through your feet, unraveling your spine one vertebra at a time. Come all the way up to standing, shoulders to ears, a nice big inhale, and then exhale, soften. Palms roll forward. Heel toe the feet to touch, and make your way to the top of the mat if you're not there already. Let's take sun A, inhale, arms reach up. And then exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, chest forward, half a lift. And then exhale, ground the hands, step back, plank pose. Bring yourself halfway down, chaturanga. Use the knees if you need to on this first one. Press into the hands, upward facing dog. Roll the shoulders, take one extra breath here. Lift the sternum high. Maybe lift your gaze. And then exhale, tuck the chin, round through the spine, open over the toes, down dog. Full inhale. Full exhale. Bring the feet to touch, right leg rises, inhale, reaches it high. And then exhale, bring it all the way through, step the right foot in between the hands. Come down onto that back knee, arms reach all the way up, crescent moon, lunge into that front hip, but peel the ribs in and up. Inhale, find length, exhale, vertical twist, right hand's going to drop down, opening up, crossing that right thigh. Inhale to center, reach. And then exhale, hands down towards the floor, tuck the back toe, lift the knees, step back, plank pose. Take your Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. One extra breath to really peel the shoulder blades back. Imagine your shoulder blades pushing your heart forward. And tuck the chin, round spine, down dog. Full 
Full inhale. Exhale, feet to touch. Left leg rises, reach it high. Stepping forward, come into your low lunge. Right knee drops down, toe untucks, arms reach up, crescent moon. Use an inhale to lift and an exhale to soften into your pose. Shoulders drop, vertical twist, left side, arm reaches down and away. Beautiful. Inhale to center, curves, crescent moon. Exhale, hands ground, tuck the back toe, step back, plank pose. And take it through your vinyasa. Inhale up. And exhale, down and back. Nice work. Inhale fully. Exhale, open mouth. Let that go. Notice in the body where the heat is rising. Maybe thoughts starting to pop in. Pop them right back out. Come back to your breath. Inhale up to the toes. Bend knees, gaze forward. Step, walk, or float. Top of the mat. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stand all the way up, reach to the sky. Cactus the arms, lift the heart. Inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, lift to lengthen spine. Exhale, take your vinyasa. Oda Mukha up dog. Adho Mukha downward facing dog. Nice. Right leg rises. Inhale, reach it up. Let's take a knee to nose here. Shift shoulders forward. Come up onto that left toe. Hug the knee in. Round the spine. Lift the kidney. Look between the hands. Send it back. Three leg dog. Whoo, that's hard to talk through. <laughs> knee to nose. One more time. Bring it through. And step it down. Inhale, heart peels forward, hips drop. Left knee down, arms reach up. <laughs> I'm out of breath, talking and flowing. <sighs> Vertical twist, right side. Inhale. Exhale, drop your left hand down to the mat. Come onto the knife edge of that right foot and reach to the sky, gently leaning back and open. And we take the right hand to the inner right knee. And then gently guide it open. Peel your heart forward. Nice work. Bend the left knee if you would like. We'll stay in an extra breath here. Reach back for the foot. Maybe start to draw the heel in. Nice. Gently release the back foot. Hand frames those the front feet. Right foot, I don't know, back knee lifts, inhale. Take it through your vinyasa, down dog, we're going there. I'll meet you there. Front foot, back foot, left foot, right foot. How many feet do we have? Left leg rises, inhale. I'm not gonna talk through this one, but we're gonna take a nice, slow, long knee to nose. So hug it in. I'm up onto that back toe. Shift forward. I told you I wasn't going to talk it through, and I'm doing it anyways. Squeeze, lift, round, inhale up. And exhale, step it through. Beautiful. Crescent lunge, back knee down, arms reach up. Vertical twist, left side. I think he turned the air back up because I am sweating, you guys. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, right hand grounds, left hand reaches up, and then gently rotate your hips, dropping it down. So knife edge of that left foot, and bring the left hand to the inside of the left knee if you'd like. Guide it open, gently lean back, lifting your heart. Beautiful. Left hand outside of the left foot. 
Lift the back knee, take it through your flow, or meet me in downward facing dog. Nice, full inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Top of the mat, inhale. Exhale, fold. Let's take it into chair pose, knees bend, arms reach all the way up. Beautiful. Exhale, arms sweep back, chest moves forward. And then one more chair pose, reach up. Exhale, airplane arms sweep back, peel your shoulders back, lift and lengthen. Inhale, stand all the way up. Cactus arms, lift your heart, squeeze your thighs up. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, dive it forward. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Take it through your vinyasa or meet us in down dog. I know how loud that thud is on the speaker. <laughs> so I don't do it often. <laughs> nice. Right leg rises, inhale. Knee to nose twice now. Inhale up and back. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale up, step it through this time. Back leg stays lifted all the way up, crescent lunge pose. Sink into the hips, vertical twist, right side, reach it down. Inhale to center, exhale, warrior two, open up. Sit low in that front thigh. Beautiful, reach the fingers out. Reverse warrior, reach up and back. Exhale, extended side angle, bring it through. Beautiful, inhale, lengthen your heart. And now as you exhale, see if we can start to rotate the spine. Gaze under your top arm. Nice, inhale, warrior two. Oh, sorry, reverse warrior. Straighten the front leg, triangle pose, arms reach, and we connect. Beautiful. And that same idea of peeling your heart back as if we did earlier, pressing the hand to the inner thigh. And then we're going to come into pyramid pose, so left hand is going to ground, back heel is going to spin, and you can keep that heel lifted if that feels good for you. Or pop it in and ground the heel, peel, pull the hip square. So extended pyramid or full pyramid, choose what feels right. Inhale, low runner's lunge, bend the front knee. Exhale, three-legged dog, right leg high, lift it up. Now options here to flip your dog, bend the knee, fan the hip, or stay as you are. Oh, I think I'm feeling a flip. One more breath. And then all the way back and around. Three-legged dog, fallen triangle, left elbow. Step it out, ground and lift. Beautiful. Inhale, play pose. Exhale, vinyasa. Up dog. And down. Oh, I'm loving this flow. Anybody else? <laughs> nice. Left leg rises. Inhale. Two, knee to nose. Inhale. Third one, we're gonna step it all the way through. Back leg stays lifted, caress and lunge, square your feet. Find your foundation and rise. Beautiful vertical twist, left side. 
Nice. Inhale, center, exhale, warrior two. Beautiful. I'll tell you a quick little story while you're hanging out in warrior two, wishing that you had had an extra cup of coffee today rather than being here. I got this new mat and it has a feet alignment. Never have I been more worried about my placement than just listening to my body. So it's been an interesting transition. Reverse warrior. I've become OCD about my placement on my mat. Exhale, side angle. Rather than my placement of my body, but the placement on my mat. And then exhale, gently rotate your torso around. One of those good idea, bad idea things. Nice, inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, straighten the front leg, triangle pose. If you need to crawl that back foot in, something that I learned later on in my practice, a slight pull in on that back toe, so it's about somewhere between 90 and 45, will give our hips a little bit more space to execute better alignment. Extend a pyramid pose, fingers down, back heel either lifts. That feels good for you. Or pop the foot in, ground the heel, square the hips. Both are perfectly fine. Beautiful lower runners lunge, bend the left knee, round the hands. Three-legged dog, left leg up and back, reach it high. Bend the knee, fan the head. And wherever you went last time, find that same sensation. When you're ready, three-legged dog, fall in triangle, bring the left knee to the right elbow. You guys know where we're going. Beautiful, plank pose. Take your vinyasa. Woo. I am sweaty Betty over here. I love it. So we take it one more time through, a little bit faster this time. One breath, one movement. You know where we're going. You may or may not talk. <laughs> I'm huffing and puffing over here. It's a little bit getting in my head. All right, so come up onto the toes, bend knees, look forward, right into chair pose. Whew. Airplane arms. Chair pose. Airplane arms. Stand tall. Cactus arms, lift your heart, squeeze your legs. Super important in this pose. Inhale, reach up. Let's go, fold. Inhale, chest lifts. Take it through your vinyasa, meet you in down dog. Three knee to nose, inhale. For one. And up. Two. And up. Third one, we step through. Beautiful. And rise. Twist it out, right side. Cardwheel arms, warrior two. Reverse, side angle, reverse, straighten front leg, triangle, pop that back foot in slightly if you need. Beautiful. 
Beautiful pyramid pose, hands ground, back foot pops in and forward. Exhale, low lunge. Three-legged dog or down dog split, I heard, which is a really cool way to say it. Bend the knee, another flip if you're up for it. Inhale, down dog split. Exhale, fall in triangle. Maybe this time leave that leg lifted. Find another variation. Beautiful. High plank pose. Chaturanga. I've got tree legs. This is interesting. Upward facing. And down dog. Exploration in yogi. So much fun. Left leg up three times. Ready? Knee to nose. And up. Exhale. And back. Stepping through on the third one. All the way up. Vertical twist. Warrior two. Reverse warrior. Extended side angle. Reverse warrior. Straight in front leg. Triangle. Or exhale is the setting of the pose. Pyramid. Inhale is the transition. We're getting into it. Exhale, settle in. Low lunge. Three legged down dog split. Bend the knee, fan the hip. If you did, give it a flip. Three legged up. Fall in triangle. Maybe leave it lifted. Try another leg variation. Play a little bit, explore. Beautiful plank pose. And vinyasa. Let's meet in child's pose. Because I need it. <laughs> nice work. Take one more inhale. Nice, open mouth, exhale. So we're gonna have two options here. Coming up onto your elbows, making your hands like number 11. And then either interlacing your hands, grounding the crown of your head and coming into headstand. We're coming into dolphin pose, depending on what you are in the mood to do. So tucking the toes, lifting the hips, and walking the feet towards the face. If you're in dolphin, well, either headstand or dolphin, lift the shoulders from the ears, press down into the forearms and see if we can lift the body a little bit higher with the hips. Even if you're in headstand, or if you're walking toes in for headstand preparation and walking back, Doing the same, either head on the floor, or head lifted. So it's for five more breaths. Beautiful. If your feet are off the floor, keep spiraling the energy up through the toes, drawing the low ribs in, lifting the shoulders, supporting the torso. And gently, when you're ready, beginning to make your way all the way back down. Coming into child's pose. Beautiful. Allowing that 
beautiful energy, whatever position you took, whatever pose you were working on, to just settle in, assimilate itself through the body. Nice work. When you're ready, let's meet in down dog. Beautiful. From down dog, we'll start to walk the hands back towards the feet. Soften the knees and find rag doll. Inhale, hands to shins, half a lift. And then we're going to take the left hand to the left hip. Take the right hand, peace fingers around big toes. Ground through that left foot. Spread your toes as wide as you can. Bend that left knee and stand all the way up. Bring your right foot with you, hugging the knee in. So we're going to have our right hand to the inner right thigh. Nice. And then from here, keep the right shoulder pulling back. Imagine pressing your spine against a wall and start to drive that right heel forward. It doesn't matter how far. You could be in a half happy baby or maybe you have the length, but as soon as that right shoulder pulls forward, that's where we're gonna stop straightening the leg. Beautiful. From here, we're gonna open the leg out to the side. Drop the shoulders down, square the hips. Knee could be bent. You can release the toe and grab the knee if that's better for you. Breath is steady, mind is calm, body is wobbly, but safe. From here, let's go ahead and bend the knee a lot. Grab hold of the foot and place it to the inner thigh. Now, even if you need to keep hold of the foot, see if we can keep that foot on the inner thigh, and not let it fall down by the knee. So even if you need to hold on to it, that's fine. We're gonna guide the right knee out. Press the right hip forward. Maybe we find the hand release and come into full tree pose. Beautiful. Inhale, maybe reach your hands all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart center. If you have the balance, we'll do that three more times using breath and tree. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. So we're going to bring the knee to center. Keep the knee in line with the hip. One more little push here. Straighten that heel. Pull the navel in. And then we're going to take the foot out to the side. Tuck it around. Hug the knees. Sit low. <laughs> My legs are really slippery, and then we're going to take left elbow, uh, sorry, right elbow over left knee, press the palms together in a nice long rinse of the spine. See if we can rotate enough to bring your heart to your thumbs, and let that left shoulder draw down away from your ear. Beautiful. Let's ground the hands. And unravel Padagustasana, peace fingers, big toes. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Beautiful. Inhale, half a lift. Keep your left hand on your left toe. Release your right hand, right hip. Spread the right toes really wide. Find your foundation. Bend that right knee and stand all the way up. Hug your left heel in. So we're going to start off with the knee nice and bent, hugging into that left side body. Stand tall through your spine. When you're ready, start to drive the left heel forward, keeping the left shoulder pulling back. So we don't want to twist the torso. Imagine both shoulder blades pressing to the wall behind you. Beautiful. From here, taking the leg open. 
Remember the inhale is our transition, our initiation, and the exhale is settling in, finding stillness. If nothing else, then at least through mind. Everything else might be wiggling, that's okay. Nice work. Bend the knee. Grab hold of the foot, place it as high up onto that thigh as you can. And either hold the leg if that's where you need to be. Draw the knee out, press the hip forward. Or maybe you have it in your practice today to release the leg, hands to heart. And we'll take three breathing exercises here. Inhale, reaching all the way up behind the hands. Exhale, bring it down. Breathing tree, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Beautiful. Exhale. Nice. For all I know, Zoe's just hanging out in Shavasana. I can't see her at all. Alex still has a bit of a shadow. <laughs> Let's bring that knee forward. You all have amazing balance, Alex and Zoe. I love it. So does everyone else. Stand that heel forward. Beautiful, we'll start to Monday. All right, let's take it all the way out to the side. I have a wall behind me so I don't have a whole lot of space. Tuck the toes, hook the knees. Let's find our rinse. Left elbow finds that right thigh. Press the palms together, peel the heart back. Nice. Ground the hands, unravel the legs, padahastasana, slip the fingers under the feet. Inhale, heart forward, half a lift, and exhale, bring it down. Beautiful, inhale, half a lift. Exhale, release your hands, heel toe your feet to touch, hands to hips, flat back, come all the way up to standing, some steady E equals standing feet. Let's take it through our vinyasa, come into down dog, inhale, reach up, exhale, flow through, inhale, half a lift, and take it into your vinyasa. Beautiful. Let's take the right leg high, inhale, reach it up. Bend the knee, fan the hip. And sweep it all the way through, find half pigeon on the right side. Walk the left leg back. Inhale, fill the lungs. And exhale, bring it down. Find your degree of your half pigeon. And remember, even though we're nearing the end of the class, your grocery bag of thoughts is still empty. And if one more ingredient pops in, gently pop it out. Leave it for later. Stay with your body. Stay with your breath. Nice, inhale, come all the way up onto the hands. We're gonna drop onto the right sit bone, sweep that left leg through, pick your right leg up and over, left knee. Nice. Square the hips, how are we doing on 10? Perfect, inhale, reach up, and exhale, bring it down.
Keep the left toes reaching to the sky. Peel the left hip back. Lengthen through the spine. Lift the sternum, lift your heart. And gently tuck your chin. Rather than letting your head drop on your chin tuck, try to just draw your chin towards the base of your neck. No, towards the top of your neck. So we're kind of getting that double chin sensation. And then what we're doing is we're locking in the energy by locking off that energy space. And that's a good thing. Really focusing and purposefully moving the breath through the body. Staying present with every flow. Nice. Inhale, half a lift. Walk the hands back. And then we're going to take that right foot. Let's bring it to the inner left thigh. So I'm going to kind of turn here so I can still be facing you. Right foot, inner left thigh. And then bring it as close in as possible. We're going to reach the arms all the way up. Rotate the body towards that left leg. Actually, I changed my mind. Let's keep the body square. And then we're going to reach up and over. It really surprises me someday how easy it is to reach that foot and how other days how far away, like there's no way it would ever be possible. Beautiful. Inhale, come all the way back up. Let's ground the hand behind the hip, right side, inner left arc forward. Lift and lengthen. Press your hips forward. Lift your heart. Maybe even bend the left elbow. Cradle your head and lean back in your hands as if you were swinging on the most beautiful hammock, on the most beautiful island, under the sparkliest palm trees you've ever seen. And then back to reality. Bring your hips down. Let's find Navasana Boat Pose. I don't know which way you're facing on your mat. <laughs> I keep doing this little dance, so hopefully we're in the right spot. Beautiful. Danny's toes are shaking. She hasn't done boat pose in a while. <laughs> Let's cross the ankles, roll over, down dog. Let's meet there. Nice, left leg rises, inhale. Exhale, half pigeon. When you're ready, making your way all the way forward and down, melting yourself into this beautiful hip opener, that beautiful space. Beautiful breath, keeping you present in the here, the now, the only moment that actually exists. And learning and listening to you so much about our thoughts and our conditioning of thoughts and the conditioning of reality based on the conditioning of our thoughts. And ultimately what it all comes down to is how powerful and how presence can shift dramatically or subtly by letting go of our past, our predictions of our future, which are really just conditioned based on our past. And being in that detached moment right here, <sighs> and right now, and gently bringing yourself all the way back up. 
And the more I learn about it, the harder I realize it actually is to become that present moment. Here I thought I was a pro. Nope, still working. Extend that left leg, ride leg up and over. Oops, other way. Other side, left leg up and over. If I'd stop doing dances on my mat, I would know. Inhale, lift and lengthen. And then a gentle lean forward. Right toes to the sky. But whatever you did the other side, Danny, it's fine. <laughs> Who knows? I might have gotten it wrong too. Awesome, one more full inhale. And exhale, slowly bring yourself all the way up. We're gonna take the right foot to the inner, I don't know, left foot, inner right thigh. Reach all the way up, find length. And then we're gonna bring right arm down, lift up and over. Just yesterday, I was literally lying on this leg with my back. Today, maybe not. And so I love the practice of yoga. So just because we're not physically advancing doesn't mean we're not learning new, exploring sensations, and always in that constant change. And more than being in it, but being okay with being in it. You know, coming all the way back up. That's the hard part with humans, being okay in the constant change. Ground the left hand, lift the right, press the hips forward. Let's find that hammock again, shall we? Bending the right elbow, cradle your head, and for a moment take yourself to the most beautiful place on the universe. Or in the universe. Unless your place is on the universe. Nice. Exhale, come all the way down just for fun. Navasana. You can't have the beach without the work, friends. Actually, I believe that you can. So what happens? I like this work. Inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, mini shavasana, bring it all the way down. Bring the knees into the chest, give yourself a nice tight hug and then squeeze, wrap your arms around your shins. Beautiful, let's take a spinal twist to end this off right side. Start there, knees over to the right. Inhale, breathe into the left lung, and exhale, make that left shoulder really heavy. Danny and I were talking last night how cool it would be to have all of our friends in one little circle. Of course, we were talking about her friends, but I feel like so honored to have all of my friends and my closest, I say my very, <laughs> all of my friends and my closest people in my life in this one little circle. And I'll come all the way back to center. And I want you to know that even if you didn't like the class, this was probably one of my favorites. And what a beautiful surprise to see all of your faces. Exhale, open the other way. I was telling my mom the other day that I was out paddling on my own. How I miss 
in Cape Town because there's always somebody doing something. So I never had to be in that space. But I realized that even if I had friends around, they would be with me. <laughs> You're just all somewhere else. <laughs> Let's go for a bit. <laughs> Nice, and I'll come all the way back to center. Nice, one more final tight hug and squeeze. Gratitude for sweaty body, for movement, for balance, for breath. Gratitude for glimpse of presence. Gratitude for love and life. Shavasana. Yoga, yep. Yep. Very slowly allow your breath to return. Feel your inhale, the coolness on your nostrils as it fills the body. And open mouth as you sigh out the heat, the tension, or anything remaining you would like to leave on your mat today. Inhale, space. Inhale, hope. And exhale, negative. Take your fullest, most spacious inhale. Exhale everything that no longer is needed. Wiggle fingers, wiggle toes, and begin to reawaken your body in this space of pure optimism, pure love, delight. Exhale, melting back into that space. Hugging your knees into your chest and gently making your way onto whichever side serves you for your practice today. Taking a moment here to set your intention for your entire week ahead.
And when you're ready, gently guiding yourself back up to your seat. Finding a comfortable cross-legged. Bring the hands together, placing your thumbs at your heart. Honoring yourself. Honoring the space and time in which we enjoy together. Or I enjoy. <laughs> And honoring your heart. Namaste, beautiful friends.